The PS utility is used very often at the command line to gather information about what is running on the system, about the various processes and tasks which are running, what resource they were using, what relationship they have to each other, etc. If I just type PS without any arguments, I get the processes which have been launched underneath this particular terminal window. And uh, in order to make it more interesting, I have a background processes running. I have a cat, a Nautilus, which is the file manager, and evince, which is the PDF viewer. I can get more information if I type PS-F, which you see now also tells me the parent process ID. So you notice bash has a process ID of 2942, and that's the parent process for both the cat and the Nautilus, which I launched directly out of the shell, as well as the PS command itself. Uh, the events command is actually has something else as a parent for complicated reasons having to do with how the GNOME shell runs. If I want to get a different piece of information, I can do PS-L, and now uh, I am also seeing information in these two columns about the priority and the niceness, which on most Linux systems is just a, a, a numerical shift. Okay, from uh, a neutral niceness of zero means the default priority of 80, which is what all normal processes start out with. Now I can do more than this if I want to give additional arguments. So I do PS dash ELF, uh, this will tell me about all processes on the system and let me type it into less so it doesn't go too quickly. So you can see this is everything which is actually running on my system. You'll notice that the first bunch of processes uh, in this rather long list all have these square brackets around them. That means they were not started by a user program, they're running inside the kernel to do various kinds of uh, background tasks that run in the kernel all the time, handle moving things from one CPU to another, for instance, and all kinds of other things. Uh, and you'll see they have different priorities. Uh, they, they have minus 20 here, uh, minus 20 there, that means they're higher priorities, okay? It's kind of backwards. The lower the priority number here, the higher the priority is. If I page down to the bottom, I will eventually get to the tests which are not running inside the kernel, which are uh, running, for instance, uh, under my name here, Coop. And so you see, these are the actual user processes and uh, they, they're quite a bit different. Now, one reason the PS command can be a little confusing is that there are different kinds of options, those which have a dash and which those which do not. So for instance, PS-E is different than PS space E. Uh, one commonly set of options is PSAUX without a dash. And there you see uh, one nice additional piece of information is the percentage of CPU being used. And of course, uh, there isn't much going on in the system right now, so that tends to be zero. So you can customize what the output of the PS command is. Uh, if you look at the man page for PS, you'll see there's ways to have it print out only the columns that you want if you want to produce some customized reports, etc. But a standard Linux system administrator probably uses PS every day for one thing or another.